Today's video from Sam 4S Help. We're taking a look at how to use um, the pub till. Um, it's a flat keyboard cash register. I've got another video showing you how to use a retail raised button cash register and another video showing you how to use touchscreen tills. This video is just for the flat keyboard machines. So this model is the ER940, part of Sam 4S's ER900 range. Um, so obviously if you've got an ER940 or ER920, perfect, because yours will be pretty much exactly like this. But really any till that looks like this, so has an inbuilt screen, has a cash drawer at the bottom, and then has a flat keyboard as opposed to a raised keyboard, the operation will be pretty similar. There'll, there'll obviously be some little functions between one model and another that will be different, but overall the actual process of using the machine, the basics, will be the same across the range. So what I'm going to do is just show you those basics, um, try and get you started with the machine. Um, so there's a couple of um, key things before you get started. Most cash registers that look like this will have a sensor inside the printer um, that means even if you have, even if you aren't planning on printing receipts, the machine won't work without till rolls. So you have to have the till roll loaded, even if you're going to switch the receipt off. So that's the, if you're having problems, that's that's the first place to start. Um, the second thing is getting the machine in the correct mode. So most cash registers that look like this will have a mode key lock, normally around about here on the on the register. Um, there'll be all sorts of different modes you can turn to for programming, reporting, doing voids. But the key one in terms of running the daily transactions is registration or reg or sales. It's normally abbreviated by REG on most cash registers that I'm familiar with. So make sure your key is in the reg mode. If you, there's a couple of sharp machines, I think they are, that have a mode button, so they don't have a key lock. You simply press a mode button and it comes up on the display. Um, and then from there you can use the registration mode. So check you've got till roll loaded, check you've got the machine in the register mode. And then the last thing um, is to make sure you're signed in. So not every cash register uses cashiers or clerks, but most flat keyboard machines would do. If they don't, or if you're not sure, the way to check is to just start pressing your PLU buttons, your, um, your buttons here. Um, and if you start selling, then you're either logged in or you don't need to log in. On this machine, I'm currently not logged in. So when I was pressing my items, you'll have noticed nothing happened. So on a SAM 4S or the older Samsung machines, closed means there's no one logged in, so you can't use the till. So logging in on this machine and on most flat keyboard machines is um, you could do it in two or three different ways. So you could have Dallas keys or fobs that you'll need to um, pop into like a side fob. On this machine you can have it upgraded on the front of these 900s so there'd be a fob at the very front of the machine um, where you pop your key in and it logs your employee on. Um, or more simply and probably more commonplace on this sort of machine you simply have clerk buttons here so you press one of those and it logs in the appropriate um, clerk. If they're not there, then you'll also have a clerk sign-on button where you can simply press the number and then the sign-on. Um, but once you're logged in and in the registration mode with your till rolls loaded, you're ready to start selling. Now, if the machine's been pre-programmed, it's brilliant. What This machine here has 110 PLU buttons, which PLU stands for Price or Product Lookup. And it basically means on, on this sort of machine, it's a pre-programmed product. Um, with a description and a price so we can see on the keyboard stellar point comes up on the display stellar point and the preset price So all you do is you press your items You may or may not be allowed uh, Enable to do uh, an override so this machine set not to allow overrides unless you've got a special button um, for Variable priced entry. So I've got an unmarked button on the keyboard here which allows me to enter different prices, um, maybe for, for some kind of meal promotion I'm running. Um, so that's how you would enter those, but your actual normal presets, simply just press the button and it comes up with a price and description on the display. You'll notice that when it did get an error message, there's no need to panic. If you're using the cash register, it's inevitable. Every day you'll get some kind of sequence error 
all you do is you press clear, get rid of the error message, and then re-attempt what you were trying to do and do it correctly. So I tried to put in a variable price into a preset button. So I simply press the button again and get it at the preset price. Okay, if you make a mistake with an item, there's normally on the tills a way of correcting them. So on this particular machine, you have error correct, which removes the last item um, from the sale. So that's taken off the very last one. It doesn't work more than once. You only get one chance at it. So if you've made a mistake earlier in the transaction, you'll often have a void item button. And the way that works is you press it and then you go and press the entry that was incorrect so if one of our stellar points was wrong we've now avoided it from the transaction okay when you've finished entering all the items for the customer you press subtotal and then um, you then need to tender the transaction if they're paying by card obviously run the sale through the card machine and then press card here the draw fires enabling you to put the business's copy of the credit card transaction receipt into the drawer and the, um, the sale is now completed. We didn't get a receipt print out because we've got the receipt switched off. If you wanted a, a receipt to, uh, to print out on your till, there will be a um, print receipt button or post receipt button. On this particular machine, it's just the cash button. You press it and then it prints a receipt out for the last transaction. Okay, now there's a lot of other features you may, um, you may want to explore on the tills, but that's a basic, um, a basic sale on a pub till so this machine has table tracking on it so you can if you want to open a check or tab and then run sales through that and then you have a service check button which then hides the sale away so I've got a more detailed video showing you how to use the table tracking on the on the 940 um, but I've just thought I'd show you that there so the, the pub tills will have lots of different features um, but, but sales transactions, that's, that's basically it. We've got more details showing you how to do your end of day report and also how to use specific um, cash registers. So if you've got a query, a particular SAM 4S model, um, check out the YouTube channel or the website and, and it will be posted there. There'll also be videos appearing on screen now showing you how to um, use a touchscreen cash register and how to get more out of this particular model. So you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.